Hey everyone, welcome back to Bear's Workshop. We uh, Today we're going to be doing a little prequel for a video that we're going to be doing over the next week or so. We have some parts to, that need repaired because we rolled the razor. We rolled it over on the driver's side and we messed up a bunch of parts. Uh, there's a bunch of things that we're going to replace and a bunch of things that we're not. Some of the things we're, we're going to repair. So come over here, take a look, and I'll show you what we broke and what we're going to replace. And then I'll show you some of the new parts that we bought. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to look at is the front bumper. On the front bumper, we kind of got it nailed in on one side and it's sticking out on the other. So on the passenger side, we have a big gap. On the driver's side, we're almost touching the front fender. So up on the front here, we knocked off the fender flare again. This is the second time. Uh, the fender is pretty damaged. All the screw holes are kind of blown out and the paint is cracked up here where, where it compressed so this is going to be replaced the front door is out of alignment uh, from where it landed and also the door skin uh, some of the rivets came out on the dashboard the dashboard popped out and because this popped out this came forward a little bit and there is a wire harness that connects to the firm sport comfort mode that also got disconnected. I know this because the shock light is on on the dash and the code points to that not being connected and it's come off on me before. On the top here, on the roof, you can see it's separated a little bit. We got some rocks in here and all along here, all these rivets popped out. So we're gonna pull all these rivets out and we're gonna replace them with new ones and hopefully everything seats correctly. You see a little damage right there on the light bar. We're going to just leave that as is. Going back, we've got a couple scrapes on the roll cage. Right up here, it's a little scuffed. And this door is also out of alignment. So we're going to pull this door off and get it realigned. On the roll bar, we have a little bit of uh, damage to the paint where this keeps hitting right there. We did order some spray paint from Polaris. We've been waiting about a about a month for it. It just hasn't come in. It's been taken. It's taken a very long time Going back here further We've got this fender flare still attached to the fender But it became separated from the box. And this is actually called the left hand box And on this if we can come in a little closer right here, we've got a crack uh, We've got a crack right here. It's a little bit hard to see but right where my finger is drawing the line and that so the box is cracked and we're going to replace the entire box that's probably going to be the most difficult thing because we're going to need to unhook the cage from from right here from it probably from right here right right in the back here so maybe we may have to take off the full back part of the cage then we have to remove the front seats to get to all the screw holes and then pull the entire box out put the new one in get the uh, cage back bolted in it's just a it's just hard to get the key the new box through these mount holes this part's gonna have to come off also just in order to get just this box on but being that this is broken in numerous places uh, I, I want to get this replaced just because it's gonna squeak and rattle and start to just get worse and eventually just fall off and then once we do that we'll put this back on we're also, in another video, we're going to be replacing the headlights. Uh, one of the headlights was slightly cracked, so there was some moisture that was in there. So because of that, that headlight needs replaced. And we bought a new set of uh, some sort of uh, LED lights that we're going to be putting on there. We're going to have a separate video for that one. So we're going to have one on these repairs, another one on the headlights, and then we bought a whole slew of lights uh, just small lights and uh, lights that go on the front bumper, small lights that are going to go by the mirrors, uh, rear lights, and we're going to do a video putting all those lights on. So that's what's coming up in the future. So last thing I want to show you is some of the parts that we did buy already. Okay, so here are the new pieces that we bought. We've got a new front fender flare. We have a new box for the back. You can see it's, it's pretty big. It's funny because that was half the price of the fender. Here's the new fender, no stickers, and we're gonna probably take our stickers off. And then this is our new uh, front bumper. This is a 
a pro arm or front front bumper. We like that style better than the the one that we had. So we're gonna go with that one, and then we'll be getting all that on in the next video. Okay, so that's a little brief tour of what's coming up in our next video, Razor Repair. And I will put up a link in this video, right there, or there, and that's where you'll find the link to get to the, to the new video. So thanks for watching. Any uh, questions, leave them in the comments. Give me a like and subscribe, please. Thanks for watching.